There are steps for initiating a patient on art. So whenever you say you initiate, you have to talk about that you will take proper history uh, from our patients. You will examine them based on whatever problems they have. You will do tests and educate them, right? In prescribing, right, we don't start treatment the same day for all patients. For example, if it's a TB, uh, HIV-infected patient, you would rather start TB treatment for two weeks, right, then start ARV. So determine the time, right? Then is has your patient been exposed to ARVs before? right if yes what were the reasons probably that patient should be starting on second line already if they had failed first line before but if your patient has never been exposed to arvs therefore it's a regime in one patient first line patient then which drugs now the, your choice of drugs is determined by what you found on history and physical exam. If it's an elderly patient who's diabetic and you suspect kidney failure, you want to avoid tenofovir. If there's a history of active psychosis, you cannot give a furtherance. If there's a confirmation that she's pregnant and she's like one week pregnant, two weeks pregnant, you want to avoid dolutegravir, right? Then based on the three drugs that you have chosen, what blood tests need to be done? right? Because if you are giving tenofovir, you know you have to do a creatinine and a creatinine clearance. If you are giving zidovudin, you have to do an HB. If you are giving neverapine, you have to do an ALT, right? But there's other things in addition to those. Like I said, baseline assessments, your TB screening, pregnancy test, um, um, hepatitis B, a pap smear in a, in a, in a, in a HIV positive woman, you know, and so on.